Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in Android 15. Of course, Google did just roll out Android 15 developer preview 1 and we are running it on our Google Pixel 6a. We are going to do a side by side comparison with Android 14 and on the left we have our Google Pixel 8 running Android 14. On the right we have the Google Pixel 6a running Android 15 developer preview 1 and without any further delay, let us get down to business. First thing you will notice in Android 15 is if you go into settings and about phone you will notice that the Android version is mentioned as vanilla ice cream because in beta and developer preview builds they do not mention the number. Then if you tap on your Android version you will notice that the build number here on your Android 15 is AP31.24019.016 and if I swipe down to access my quick settings you will see that it has the text vanilla ice cream scrolling on the bottom left then if you tap on the android version to get into the easter egg you will notice that the easter egg is kind of similar to what you have in android 14 but instead you have a ov which signifies vanilla ice cream and hopefully with the stable build of android 15 they put the text android 15 over here and then if you press and hold on this easter egg you will feel the subtle vibrations you'll feel the lines moving fast and then you will get your game wherein you can move around in space in your own spaceship on both android 14 and android 15 developer preview one the next new change in android 15 developer preview one is when you access your screen recorder so you will notice that you have a new option which says over here a single App. surprisingly the option of show touches on screen has disappeared but once you tap on a single app you can choose between a single app or the entire screen now once you select a single app select start recording it is going to show you a list of applications which are installed on your device and from here in you can choose what app you want to use for screen recording so let us say we want to use the chrome application and now screen recording has started on the top right i did get a notification that screen recording has started so let us say we are going through wikipedia browsing wikipedia but in the middle we switch over to some other application let us say we go to the google play store and then we go into settings and then we go back to wikipedia do our browsing in wikipedia and again we get distracted we switch over to some other application we go to the phones app we go to the play store and on the left of your screen you should be seeing the recording which was recorded by the phone and you will notice that it recorded only the chrome applications our interactions with other applications like say the google play store the phone app were not recorded the next new change in android 15 developer preview one unfortunately cannot be felt or shown on camera but if you swipe down to access your quick settings panel and then you move the brightness slider around you are going to notice a subtle vibration and when you reach the end you are going to hear a little click again i cannot show this to you on camera but as soon as you reach the extreme ends and you are going to notice a little sound and your slider action is going to give you subtle vibrations our next new change for Android 15 developer preview one can be found in settings and then you go into notifications, scroll down, you will see a feature called notification cooldown and it is going to gradually lower the notification volume when you get many successive notifications from the same application and if you tap on this you can choose apply cooldown to all notifications apply cooldown to conversations or you can also turn off your notification cooldown feature which google has added with android 15 the next new android 15 feature can be found in settings sound and vibration and herein you need to go into vibration and haptics once you're in vibration and haptics scroll down all the way you will see a toggle to enable or disable keyboard vibration and this is going to work across all keyboards whether they are from google samsung or any third party keyboard to disable the keyboard vibrations in case you find those irritating or you do not like that feature our next new change in android 15 is the ability to switch between bluetooth devices right from your quick settings panel so if you swipe down and tap on your bluetooth 
here it is these are the two devices which are paired with my google pixel 6a running android 15 and let us say i want to switch from the sound code liberty 4 to the sound code live q30 all i have to do is select the other one and and bam here it is that is how you switch between bluetooth devices from the quick settings panel in android 15 and there it is peeps that is everything new in the latest and the greatest developer preview one of android 15.